Good morning, folks. We had the part three special video come out last night. We've got the other climate update here, some interesting space images, and close-in solar dynamics. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun with a multi-headed hydro-looking coronal hole coming up from the South Pole. Right now, the geomagnetic conditions have stabilized to the higher plasma pressure. It is set to last a while, however, as you can see the purple line remains elevated, solar wind speed. Now before the plasma speed falls all the way back down, the next coronal hole stream will arrive. We are also monitoring the active region on the north as it's got some followers trailing behind. Could enter development today. Folks, it's time for the monthly reality check. This is the map they show the world on the internet and the TV, the October Global Climate Report. The white, the near average mark, is a total cheat. Here they use it to strip blue away from the charts, which look like this when you use actual numbers and not their cherry-picked qualitative descriptions. We've got four interesting space images here, and the first three are from Hubble. Each one is something worth noting and thinking about. Top left in this one, the sculpted cloud features in white that almost look like pottery. Or how about this one? Yeah, nothing unusual here. Reflected lights off dust and molecular clouds isn't unseen in the cosmos, but that P-shape with apparently continuous eastern side flows kind of is. And lastly, no real science questions, but I think I see a dragon, the teeth, nose, fire, eyes, and snout. But the most scientifically interesting picture, which actually does also come from Hubble but uses Spitzer as well, is the focus of a paper on starburst galaxies. They are entirely focused on the one on the right for some reason, the bluish one, and ignore the one on the left. Now they say that multiple starbursts occurred, which is surprising them because those starbursts are supposed to shut down further star formation by quickly using too much fuel. Here, the starburst galaxy on the right is actually at the gas station, which would be the object on the left. Yes, it's hard to see in infrared, but there is a bridge there, material flowing from one to the other, which explains where that extra fuel actually came from. Folks, I 100% guarantee any scientist who looks at this group with a radio telescope is going to see that bridge and have an a manuscript to publish. Up next, more work to correct the worst of all cosmic problems, the vacuum catastrophe. How much ambient, free, virtual energy is there in the vacuum where there's supposed to be nothing? Well, this is the disagreement of up to 120 orders of magnitude, but at least 60, which is a 1 followed by 60 zeros, between what their theory of the universe says there should be in terms of that vacuum energy and what can be observationally determined. They really didn't help that here, just refine the latter numbers in the catastrophe. I just love pointing out the absurdity produced when you actually apply their paradigm to reality. Last but not least, folks, this is not exactly an a paper. We've seen so many of these menial solar events put into manuscript form, propped up as something major. Folks, this literally happens every couple hours. Here's one from just last night. The brightening at the base of the arc and then the movement of that brightness up to the top of the arc is what they're describing. Folks, about the most an observer can take from this is that, in reality, it isn't all that different than a large lightning strike, volcano, or earthquake, and how they're connected to the planetary electromagnetic system, and they quickly shoot energy upwards to the ceiling of the circuit. In Earth's case, that's the ionosphere. Folks, calling it how I see it, major censorship, major throttling. I'm shocked Google doesn't love my climate video from last night. Observers will, especially if you caught parts one and two. Please check it out and help share it today to combat the internet cockwombles. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.